Okay guys, how are you doing? I am going to do a quick little coloring on the little frog here. Little Francois. <laughs> he, um, rather than joining all the other guests, he considers himself quite the connoisseur and prefers to listen to his a fantastic frog chorus on his radio music. He croaks. <laughs> he should be left in to the professionals. So he's a singing frog on this page and I just think he is adorable. And I want to uh, lay some color down on him and that is what I'm going to do today. I've kind of jumped in on these pictures doing just little pieces of them. I might do the uh, greenery back here along with him but I'm going to leave some of this as inked. So we'll see how far we get, but the little froggy here, Francois, is going to get his color. <laughs> so I'll get the camera down and then we will begin. Okay, here we've got it all angled. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and do him in uh, two tones, a uh, green kind of in a pink, uh, like his belly and his little feet and stuff. So I picked out a few of the ink tents pencils. And I will turn them a little bit. I'm also going to use a little Distress ink uh, to get the right color. And we'll show you how to use that in just a second. So the greens we have are, let's see, green apple and the beach green. I've got the baked earth, the hatter brown or matter brown, and the carmine pink. This one I might not use. It depends. And on the Distress ink, I have the Victorian velvet. I also have a little plastic sheet that I've cut down from the scraps that I've used to put plastic sheets behind my books. So we're going to start off with the greens. Put the other pencils on this side. I don't mess with the microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, lightest green areas. And I'm just going to Put some down here on his back. As the artist, when he colored this, gave you an idea of where the shadows are, where the lightest parts are. So we're just going to go in and throw some green down. Now I just fell in love with this book but I know it can be a little intimidating. That's why I thought I'd just come on and do a quick little frog here <laughs> and show you that it's not that difficult just to add a little bit of color on a page. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can just do like one portion. So like I said, I'm going to do the frog. And then, if I want to come back later, I will do um, the teacup, or the radio, or the background. It all depends on how it's going to look, or how much you want done on each page. But just even adding a little bit like this, or even if you were just doing it with pencil, and just adding a little color on the frog itself. I mean, even that looks good. <laughs> We're going to add a little water. I have um, a little sponge. These are your sponges you get for your kitchen sink. It's got the scrubby side on one and the sponge on the other. And that's what I use to wipe my brush on. And I just keep it on the side. And when I'm done using it, I just run it underneath the sink and get it clean. So I'm just going to run the ink. So where I put it the darkest is where it's going to be. Wipe it off and then just bring up some of that light just right up there. And leave the inside of his leg a different color. And do the same thing here. Bring down the color. 
And I'm kind of using the side of the brush just to pick up and then I'll bring it down a little bit into the other side. Same on this, bring some up. And just go around. And there we go, I've got him nicely greened. And then what I'll do is I'm going to take the um, Distress Ink on this sheet. Pretty sure he's dry. I want you to be able to see it. I just take the whole ink pad and I'm just going to smush it down on the plastic. So you get this nice blob of color here. And then I just take my water brush and I'm going to run it in here and it'll pick it up and the Distress Ink is water based ink so you can pick it up and use it just like a watercolor. So I'm going to add the darkest color in. Um, it'll also reactivate this will not the ink that's on the green but the Distress Ink will reactivate so you can move it around if you want. And add that in there. A little darkness under here. And then just bring some of that color down into, down I guess and up, just to give it a lighter color. You know, so you've got your light base in the center here. And there we go there. And this will just wash off or wipe off of the um, plastic mat. And then we're going to add a little bit of darkness up here. So we're going to get the matter brown. And I'm going to do the same thing on the plastic mat. I'm just going to color on it and then use the water brush to pick some up. This has still got a red uh, tone to it. We're just going to add a little darkness around his eye. His little, whatever you call this thing, ear gland or whatever. <laughs> okay, sorry the camera kind of gave out, but all I'm doing is using the um, matter brown here and adding some of that in under his eye give him some darker spots it's a, a browner kind of color and we're just going to give him some definition here around his eyeball 
Maybe kind of a little nosy area here. And then I will just add some water. Turn that off just a bit. Okay. We're going to give him a little bit more um, definition here and maybe in his striping. Okay, when I'm using this on top of the Distress Ink, it will pick up the Distress Ink and blend it in. Have to lighten that up a little. Didn't really want it there, but it's not going to hurt any. And he's got all these like little polka dots here, so I'm going to dab in some spottage. <laughs> You can kind of see that. And we're going to get some fine down here. And then we're going to put some down on his feet. Can you see his feet? No, I'm doing that and you can't even see it. Sorry about that. And he's got this little foot over here, too. And there. He's more or less done except for his eye. Okay, and his eyes are going to be kind of a brown and a yellow, so we will bring in the baked earth that I have, and I'm just, again, scratching it on the pad, or the, or the little thing I'm using, <laughs> and we're just going to add some of that around his eye. A little around his uh, mouth here. Kind of blend that in a little bit. And it giving him a little bit of a shadow under there. And I got to get his arm green, so go back in with the apple green and a little bit of the beach green, or well, that's what I'm going to call it, <laughs> and darken that up a little. Maybe giving him a little more dark down here where he's sitting. And the darkest area down here where he's got the shadow where his legs are bent. What I like about these ink tints when they're dry, you can go over and add more color in. And we're gonna, and I don't know if you even saw what I was doing on the feet. I'm sorry, I'm not used to this camera angle. Darken up his, oh, 
this up here. Okay, the only thing I really want to do to him is maybe add in a few more little dots. So I'm going to take the um, Carmine Pink. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> it's be a little too pink, but to add in some more of these little spots. Well, he's a frog. He can have some spots on him. And we'll add some of that. Oh. Same color we used on his eye and his little area down here with little green in it. Bum, 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 bum. Now I'll probably add just a little bit of um, Posca dots on them. Darken his eye up a little bit more maybe and he is done. Just adding a little bit of the uh, yellow down here. Shadowing. So isn't he cute? Cute little frog. Cute little singing frog. And zwa. <laughs> He's going to put a little green on his toes down here. Bring that up into the pink. And we'll darken that spot up with a little green in it, too. Little green down here. Cutie pie in me. <laughs> and yeah, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a little uh, few spots on him, and then I will show you uh, the ending picture. I'm going to probably leave all this I might put some color in the cup later, but I mean, I can do that with um, colored pencil. But I just wanted to show you easy to get a little ink on the page and how much that'll brighten up the book. Don't be intimidated by it. Just give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye now.